Hello. Oh, I've got to turn this up. Hello. Hello. Hello, Crazy Lorraine says hello. How are you, Crazy Lorraine, my love? Christmas Eve, I know. Christmas Eve 2023. Uh, oh, here they come. Here you all come now. How is everybody? Are you all ready for Christmas? Are you all snuggled up at home? Hello, Claire. How are you, my love? This looks funny, doesn't it? Just here, because I'm in the middle of the room. Uh, uh, Crazy Lane's okay, sending a heart. That's nice. Vayan, hi, John. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, Vayan. Won't be Christmas really for me until I finish my shift tomorrow. Let me see if there's any other messages coming through. Let's see if I make... I didn't get a notification. Uh, Facebook. 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 Hello, Alicia. Merry Christmas to you too. Hello, Kim. Hello, Anne. Love to show today as always. Oh, I'll get told off today because I messed around too much today. Whoa. Whoa. That shouldn't have done that. Uh, anyway, hello, Judith. How are you, my love? Happy Christmas. Uh, Claire's grand. Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, yeah, got to drive up north tomorrow. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Louise says Merry Christmas. How are you, Louise? Ooh, everyone's going for long. I wonder where they're all going. Everyone's putting their coats on and going for walks. Uh, how is everybody? Oh, they'll be going over to Brad's house, I imagine. Um, hello, Thomas. How are you? Over there in Coventry. Hello, Valerie. Uh, I haven't got to start my break yet, Valerie. I don't start till after the show tomorrow. Leslie says hello. Merry Christmas. Emma. Hi, John from the Wirral. Uh, how are you, Emma? I'll be there tomorrow. Mari says, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. You'll have to stop that soon. Hello, Ali. Just says, here. Jacqueline's, good evening, John. Happy Christmas on a wildly wet and windy day in Edinburgh. Oh, it's neither of those here. Uh, it's really good now. Christmas is here. So, so, hi, John. Did you get to the supermarket? Yeah, it was empty. Completely empty. It was absolutely fine. They said it had been busy this morning, but it was absolutely fine. Couldn't get any strawberries. I like to have a bowl of strawberries during the show, and I couldn't get any strawberries yesterday. Today. Afternoon, John. Everyone, Merry Christmas, says Carol. Lizzie says Merry Christmas. Janice says Merry Christmas, John. From Jan in Radstock. Sue says Afternoon, John. Missed most of the day, so doing to Freeview, playing up, and internet kept dropping out. Oh, no. So, Miss Catherine's second ad. Well, you missed the panels. You missed the panels then, Sue. And the quilts after that. Just went and had a beer with my grandpa, 97, still likes his beer. Oh, brilliant, Louise. Brian, how are you, my love? Princess says, hello, John, Merry Christmas. Catherine says, afternoon. Liz, now Brian and Liz are in the same house, but they're on separate accounts. Happy Christmas to you and your family. Hope our card can get to No, Liz, nothing's arrived. Nothing has arrived from you yet. Uh, hi, John. Uh, says, Helen. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, Liz smells at Christmas. Oh, honestly. Uh, hang on. Uh, thank you, Sue. Letting me know this. My TV is on the blink and didn't think of it being free view. <gasps> Hi, June says, uh, not uh, June Ward, that is, says, hi, all Merry Christmas. Kitty Ann, Merry Christmas from North Carolina. Ooh. Um, Patricia says, hi, John, Merry Christmas. Jill, Merry Christmas, John, extremely windy in Northumberland. Literally got bone sideways at the garden centre. Diana Sykes, how the devil are yours? Anything about you the other day? Now, Diana, I need to ask you about Helen, because I dropped off some crafting things from her. I've never heard from her. Is she all right? Um... Gillian says, happy Christmas, John. Family arriving any minute, so maybe miss the end of your life. Oh, don't worry, Gillian. Carol says, happy Christmas. No alert. It's only just four o'clock. Um, have you got your routes map for tomorrow? There will be no traffic. I'll just, anyway, I'm on the motorway. I literally come out of work, get on the motorway, motorway all the way up, M6, M56, M53, home. Uh, Shelley Morell, how are you, my love? Hi, John and everyone. Merry Christmas to all of you. Kat says, good afternoon on Christmas Eve. All's great here. I've just opened the Baileys. Can't wait to wake up to you tomorrow morning. Will you have a hangover tomorrow morning? Merry Christmas, says Sarah. Margaret says, getting tethered up with these girl force winds. You see, we've, it's not windy here at all. It's a lovely, the sky is beautiful. I'll show you, look. Can you see up there? Look, it's lovely, it's lovely. Turn you back round. Um, attractor, hello John, everyone, hello attractor, my lovely, ooh, nearly knocked the whole thing off the side then. Why is Carol crying? Uh, Merry Christmas, John, very best wishes, Veronica, Gillian says afternoon, John Scott, Princess says home now for my lovely Christmas dinner at the pub, lovely. 
Uh, Alison says Merry Christmas. Bridget says Merry Christmas. Judy from Clayton. Happy Christmas, John and everyone. Now, um, Judy, uh, I'm going to be filming for the John Scott uh, new platform. I think I might have to get that young 15-year-old and do an interview with him, won't I? Um, Winthrow Nahooli says Fran in London. I found you in the YouTube via an old video with Joe Carter when she made a unicorn. I made two of the unicorns. Joe makes amazing patterns. She does indeed. Kitty Ann. Mari says, I'm having roast turkey, pigs in blankets, sausage meat stuff in gravy from, made from turkey juices, bread sauce with milk and roasted cooked in goose fat. Uh, what do vegetarians have? Uh, well, I'm having vegetables. I've got some veggie sausages to take up, but I know Alex, my niece, is going to be making some vegan food as well. Merry Christmas, says Joe. Louise says, how are you spending your day? What, tomorrow? I've got to go to work in the morning, Louise. So I'm all, I've got to get up at half past four to the studio, prep the show, do the show. It's only until uh, 12 o'clock tomorrow. Then after 12 o'clock, I drive up north, stop for a wee halfway and get a hot, uh, uh, not hot chocolate, uh, a Starbucks, and then carry on the rest of the way. And then I'll have me having my dinner and the Wirral. It's very windy here, says Claire. Oh, dear. That's only a little bit further down from me, isn't it? Maureen says, Merry Christmas, John, and everyone. Emma says, Merry Happy Christmas. I'm Jules's model. Hello, Emma, Jules's model. Uh, Donna says, Merry Christmas. Lynn Tewitt. Hello there, everyone. Wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Maybe I decide to take six and a half inches off each side of my Christmas tablecloth. Why well, have you got a smaller table this year? What are you having for Christmas dinner tomorrow? I don't know yet, Jill. I'm not sure what we're having. I've gone for sausages that John suggested or wrapped prawns. Ugh. Don't eat fish and veggie spring rolls. Merry Christmas, says Thomas. Carol said we lost Robbie. Oh, no. Oh, Carol. Crying was cos was going out. Boyfriend found out his MOT ran out two weeks ago. Oh, dear. So, hi, John and Orm. Happy Christmas to all those of you uh, that will be alone for the first time this year. I'll be thinking of you. I too have been there. It gets easier, but you never forget them. I'll oh, see. Vian, I'm just hanging Christmas LED lighting strips on Mum's window. Bit late for that. Uh, Karen from Wigan. Afternoon one and all. Food prep all done. Just going to whiz round with the Hoover. Yeah, I've got to get, go around with the Hoover in a minute as well. Um... And a Merry Christmas. Lots of emojis there from Anne. Maureen says, red cabbage just out of the oven, ready for tomorrow. Two dozen mince pies, cauliflower cheese prep. Ooh, lovely. Um, we had red cabbage at Dulce's. Went to, to Christmas dinner at Dulce's this week. It was delicious. Absolutely delicious. She did. She did red cabbage. It's one of those things I never think of cooking on my own, but I should do because I love it. Oh, just got a message from Alex. Um, oh. Just reply to Alex. Um, not surprised you're tired. Oh, you're not talking to me. You're talking to Maureen. Uh, I had to wait so long with uh, delivering the connectors. They've only just been, oh, cracky, it's delivery today. I suppose it will be because it's a normal day today, isn't it? I mean, all the shops will be shut now, four o'clock, won't they? My son was born Christmas Day, so yes, happy time, says Maureen. Claire says, love red cabbage, but I'm the only one in our house. Well, I, it's not something I'd cook for myself, I think, but a Dulcie does it beautifully. I have to ask her what her recipe is, but it was really, really lovely. Um, so is everything else, everyone else got their Christmas dinner ready? John, if you batch cook red cabbage, it freezes well. Oh, because I was going to say I won't eat a whole one. The thing is, I'm not very good with frozen foods. I get them out and think, oh, this can't be right, and throw it away. Um, is everybody ready for tomorrow then? Uh, can you still watch Stone Street on Facebook? Looking for it this morning. Couldn't find it. Yeah, 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 Karen. It's still on Facebook. You just go to the Sewing Street page and you'll see it says uh, Sewing Street is live now. And you just click on there. Uh, oh, Jacqueline, will be watching Great Pottery Throw Down? I deal what I will. What day does it start? Oh, is there a celebrity one? I'm not sure I like the celebrity ones, but is, is there a new series coming up? Uh, Audrey says, Merry Christmas. Judy says, Harry has just gained a distinction grade in his first few months of college. I'm sure he'd be happy to chat with you. Oh, brilliant. Where's he based? Where's he based, Judy? Uh, I have to share my red cabbage with the neighbour, says Maureen. Vayne's nearly ready for tomorrow. Uh, well, if it's not ready now, it's never going to be ready, isn't it? Why have you put a question mark, Fran? Great pottery throwdown. There'll be a celebrity one. Oh, I'm not going to watch celebrity sewing B. Uh, it doesn't feel like Christmas at all this year. Oh, princess bar humbug. 
A tractor. I'm the only one in the house who likes red cabbage. I found frozen prep in Sainsbury's. I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, yeah, do a tractor. Let me know. Not sure about the new series of Throwdown. Yes, but we good. Uh, what? Oh, hang on. Has it started? Hang on, Jacqueline. Has it started? Doris, hello, my lovely. Have a fantastic Christmas. I will. Thank you very much indeed, Doris. Uh, good afternoon, all, says Glenda. Fran said the new host for saying B is much less annoying than that woman. Oh, well, I'm still not watching it. Lo, oh, lo, good evening from beautiful Germany. How is it? Is it freezing cold? Judy and kind of said, I think he's in Southam. That's near, um, is that like Leamington Spari, Warwicky way, isn't it? Steve Siev, hi, I got a cold, fell ache. Don't know what that means. I've got cold, fell ache. You have to explain that one. Still trying to get ready. Would love to know white cabbage recipe. Oh, yes. All right, I'll find out from Dulcie. I didn't mean it like that, said Princess. Pottery throw down starts January the 7th. Oh, for ages yet. But there'll be a Christmas one, won't there? Oh, Thomas, am I on next Sunday? Um, um, oh, no, I might not be next Sunday because I'm spending New Year at Francesca's. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Uh, not that, uh, Jacqueline, not that, no, I was just hoping it would start soon. Our dinner going to be delivered around four. Oh, very nice. Uh, I read it was snowing in Vienna. Oh, you be careful then, um, low if it's snowing in Vienna. Sandra Sinclair, watch the, watch the sewing bee. You didn't miss anything. Oh, good. Merry Christmas, John. I can now join in on my new laptop. I have so missed your chats. I'll be spending Christmas alone. The first one without mental dog is sadly passed in April. Yeah, but, 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 Wendy, I'm on air tomorrow. So you can watch me on air for four hours tomorrow morning. That'll pass half the day away, won't it? Lean to it. Delia Smith's red cabbage recipe is good. Well, that'll be the one Dulcie uses, I imagine. I don't need to get anything ready for tomorrow. Just me after visiting mum in tomorrow in care. Oh, that's nice, Jacqueline. It's beyond stunning. We're in Bavaria going to a candlelit mass. All the bells are ringing. Oh, you be careful as you go through that church door. There's not a thunderbolt. Um, oh, Toya was on it. I know Toya. <laughs> I know Toya very well. Um, so, are you all, do you have your Christmas dinner tonight or do you have it tomorrow? What do you, what are you doing? Um, well, she, did she win? Did Toya win? She's very competitive, is Toya. Um, so, uh, what, what other news have you got? What do you want to ask me? What do you need to know? Anything what you need to know at all? I'm here, says Sue Glow. Uh, Merry Christmas, Julie Vaughan says hello everyone. Hello Julie Vaughan, who ordered a new brooch today. I oh, know, we know everything you see, we know everything that's going on. Lean to it, we eat lunchtime on Christmas Day. Adrienne says, uh, sorry I'm late, just put some meat on, going around to my son's tomorrow. Oh nice. Maureen says, Christmas dinner definitely tomorrow. Are you still on with Sandra Santangle? Yes, yes, tomorrow, Sandra Santangle's on with me tomorrow. Had ours today, so tomorrow will be cold beets and sausage rolls, says Princess. John Scott saying, well, thought you might. She pulled the Westwood card. Did she? Going out for lunch to the local pub, says Alison. I might, I might skim through it. I'll get it on catch up and skim through it. Uh, oh, that'd be nice, Alison. So no, ooh, no washing up for you to do. No prepping or washing up for you to do. Uh, it's funny because when we were little, we used to have um, our dinner on Christmas Eve night time. So we'll be getting ready for it now. Will you be going, oh no, no, we'll be going to my brother's to make Christmas dinner. Usually he's about to, you've got to cook it. You go there, you've got to cook it, Margaret. It's a bit unfair. Sending our, all our, I think that meant to say love. She's pissed. Sending all our love to everyone and thank you for everyone who's posted us. Thank you, Lo. Thomas, have you been on the TV series? Have I been on the TV series? No, series. I couldn't be on that, Thomas, because I do sewing for a living. We are having a Christmas day fry up. We have roast every Sunday. Husband cooking it now, says Glenda. Sue says, thanks for your friendship through the telly, Facebook and YouTube. You keep us all going. Oh, thank you, Sue. Adrian, so I've got one of those brooches. Also have a matching necklace. Oh, very nice. That lady's, <coughs> that lady's going to wonder what on earth happened. Suddenly on Christmas Eve, she got an order for 20 brooches. Uh, veggie dinner for me tomorrow, says Wendy. Homemade nut roast. Oh, can't eat nuts, you see. And all the trimmings. And of course, I'll be watching. Oh, I'll be there. Still strange to have a king's speech. Oh, yes, I forgot. I keep forgetting he's the king. What are you having for lunch tomorrow? I don't really know because uh, Alex is cooking it. I'm taking some vegetarian sausages with me and I'm taking some vegan gravy with me just to be on the safe side. Carol's going out soon. Daniel's going to be baking with two friends then colouring her friend's hair afterwards. Julie! Julie's in, everyone. Prepping my Christmas dinner with Alex. 
Uh, we're all electric here and the solar panels, so it's cheaper to cook. Oh, that's good. Oh, here's, oh, I see. Oh, I don't know. How far away is he? Not far away. Anyway, Judy says, I've cooked our Christmas dinner ready for tomorrow. My son's come over for fizz and canapé in the morning. The meal about 3 p.m. followed by silly games. Oh, uh, oh, what? Oh, you don't feel good, Steve said. Oh, no, have you got that cold? It's, going, it's not COVID, is it? Take a COVID test. Um, have a lovely Christmas, uh, Jacqueline says to Julie. Roxana says, heading to my son's tomorrow, hopefully. That is if he's testing negative for COVID by then. Oh, it's so difficult, isn't it? Uh, I messaged the lady with the brochure. She put her last one on Etsy shop, so I couldn't buy one. Oh, hang on. She put her last one on Etsy so I could buy one, which I did. Did she, wa did she wonder why she suddenly had a flurry of people messaging her today? Afternoon, says Angie Franklin. How are you, my love? Have I been on TV before? Oh, Thomas. Yes, he used to be on this morning. I was on this morning for 10 years. Liz. Hi, Julie. Oh, it's for Julie, not for me. Have a lovely Christmas with John and Mikey. No, with Mike. Mike is her husband. Mikey can't be there because Mikey's in... Egypt, because he flew to Egypt yesterday. He had to fly as an elf. He flew the aeroplane as an elf. If you see your nephew over Christmas, send him a big thank you to him and fellow pilots for hard work this week uh, fighting the winds. Um, oh, 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 yes, I will do, Sue. Um, he's in Egypt. I won't see him. He's in Egypt for four, four I think he's in for four days. Attracts says, I love Christmas. I remember feeling pressured to visit parents' in-laws when the children were small and swore that I wouldn't do that to my children. It's really just another day. It'll almost be over this time tomorrow. Exactly. Well, no. I'll, have a, we'll, I'll be having my dinner this time tomorrow. What time is it? 4.14. Oh, yeah, I'll be in the middle of my dinner tomorrow. Rachel says, Happy Christmas, John. Thank you, Rachel. Julie, Alex cooking. I'm making you a squash, sage and butter bean hot pot. I thought Alex was doing a vegan dinner. She's not even doing her carrots and those things that look like poos on a plate. Uh, Jacqueline, there is also a horrible tummy bug going around too. Oh dear, Jacqueline. Quite a few people around here have got it. Upset tummy. Take care, everyone. Um, you couldn't find the brooches, uh, Catherine, because they all sold out. She sold out. Maureen's got to go vegetable. Take care. Happy Christmas, Maureen. Uh, Julie, my husband, mum and sister-in-law have a terrible cold to go around. <gasps> Dulcie's got a really bad cold, like proper, proper, full-on cold. Um, no, she didn't say, but thanks for being sort in her little business. Oh, how funny. Rachel says, happy Christmas. Did she not ask you how you knew about it then? Julie said, just put dough for you, potato dough for you, the oven for you too. Very nice. Uh, norovirus has arrived early this year. Oh, this is full of good cheer, isn't it? I've been better, got a viral infection on top of the infection I already had. Now I have a stomachache. Oh, Angie. Uh, I feel sorry for anyone working on Christmas Day. Why, Van? Why? It's a lovely, it's just another day. Um, and I don't mind working. I quite like it. So uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with working on a Christmas Day myself. Um, so that's Christmas Day. What you're doing in between Christmas and New Year? Because I'm not. Oh, I can talk. I can talk. I'm not back on now. Uh, I'm off after tomorrow. I'm off for a few days. Um, Roxana, my son thought he had a really bad cold till he did a COVID test. Well, I did say to Dulcie she should do one. Sandra Sakala, hi John, everyone, happy Christmas. Elders has just been because she's run out of wrapping paper. It's a pinch of mine. Oh, typical. Oh, look, Sarah Manchester from Milton Keynes is in, everyone. Happy Christmas, John, and everyone. How are you, Sarah? I haven't seen you for a while. Oh, computer's just gone off. Uh, a tractor. I used to love working on Christmas morning. Now, tractor, what did you do? I thought you were a lady of leisure. Were you a nurse? In my brain, I'm thinking you're a nurse or a matron or something like that. I'll be sewing with my presents from Santa after tomorrow. How do you know what Santa's bringing you this? And what is he bringing you? And did he buy it from me? I was a nurse for 34 years, says Wendy, and I used to love working at Christmas, there you go. I'm hoping to go to Sheffield, says Princess, see my youngest son and family during Christmas and New Year week. Diane says, hello everyone, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you too. Um, oh, Carol's off to her boyfriend. Uh, Anne, how is Francesca? She's, uh, oh, Fra Fra she's all right, Anne. She's had her second treatment now. Oh, Fran's got math. I'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, Granny Hodges sewing, feeding 12 tomorrow, 75 pigs in blankets, two chickens, 36 Yorkshire puddings, as well as the usual veg. Do you think I love enough? I think so, Granny Hodge. Angie said, went out for meal last night for my son's birthday. I also live in Milton Keynes. A track said, yes, a ward sister in the days when there were ward sisters. Oh, track, track. I can see you as a matron or a nurse. Um, Fran's fine. Her first, um, Chemo was a double whammy, so that kind of knocked her a little bit. But then we went to the theatre, so she was fine. Then she had a second one on Wednesday, 
So then she's got a third one next Wednesday. Then the following Wednesday, she has it the week off. And then the week after that, she has a double whammy again. But I think it's just exhausting. I think it's just exhausting for her. Uh, I'm fine, thank you, says Sarah at Manchester and Milton Keynes. Should have moved by now. Oh, where are you going? Uh, but it got to late till January, so I'm having Christmas amongst the packing boxes. That, that happened to me when I bought this house. I was supposed to move on December the 15th. And then just before, I was all packed and everything. And then just before I went, the people who were buying mine got, I don't know what they were doing, something with their mortgage. So I got moved to January the 6th. So I then had to... Um, Sit with boxes around me all Christmas. Hayley West. How's Hayley West? I haven't seen you for ages, Hayley. How are you, my lovely? Um, Fran said, thoughts and hugs to all of you who aren't feeling too good. Lowe said, we were drinking in a beautiful beer keller last night. It turned out it used to be an ancient brothel. Well, there's a surprise. Jan says, happy Christmas, everyone. Hope to see the new Wonka film with family between Christmas and New Year. Oh, didn't know the one. Sandra Sakala says, son and daughter are not here from Watford. So I'll have all the grandchildren together. That's nice. Fiona says, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, Princess, only only Low. Only Low could do that. Could you? Mind you, I went to a party once and I had my friend Penny Jones. Didn't realise till the next day it was a brothel. Um, and everybody said to us, you were in a brothel last night. So we drove around the next day and the house was completely empty and everything was gone, light fittings and everything. I'm staying in Milton Keynes, moving to, house, to a bungalow. Oh, that's nice, Sarah. Carol said, hopefully moving to Bedfordshire next year. Oh, I'm a bit thirsty today. Um, did somebody ask me a question there? No. Um, oh, well, that's good. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going up to... Judy said we moved to Kyneton 10 years ago on the 19th of December. Can't believe... It. Oh, so Judy, I've been here longer than you then. Because I'll have been here 12 years on January the 6th. Yeah, now, Julie Vaughan, I didn't know the village. I've got to write that down, actually. So, apparently, Village Fabrics, you know, Yvonne McAtamney, are moving from Watlington to a little village just around here called Inkborough, Inkborough, or something like Inkborough. Uh, them, I don't know if they've moved yet, but Yvonne messaged in saying, well, after a dreadful week, Merry Christmas, everyone. So, I have to find out. Uh, Fran's really thirsty, she says, well, because you're not drinking enough water, drink enough water. My excuse is that to talk for five hours on air... Then I came straight home here and did some sorting out. Uh, I've packed all up to my car. Quiet Christmas to me and my partner. Kids at home. That's nice, Angie. Chris, Christine, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everyone. Almost finished presents to John Scott's own world. Julie Vaughan. I didn't know that. No, but it's a lovely village that she's going to. So it'd be a nice one. But it's right near me. So if you come and visit, you have to come and visit me as well. I moved from Pointing in Chester. Oh, did you? I used to move from... We were in Chester. Uh to Charmouth in Dorset. It's a small coastal vi village and I've got a sea view. Oh, how lovely, Wendy. Mike, my brother, wants a sea view when he retires. Village Fabric sent out their newsletter email regarding their move a few weeks ago. How weird. I didn't get that. Um, I think their last day in the shop is January. Oh. Oh, hang on. Now Now Village is that close on the end of February, says Glenda. Lowe says, I love Charmouth. Susan said, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to John and everyone from Pat and Susan on the Isle of Wight. Happy Christmas, Pat and Susan. Merry Christmas, says Jane. Lynn says, Merry Christmas, John and everyone, still in hospital. Oh, but could be allowed home tomorrow. Oh, Lynn, that would be nice if they let you home. Is there somebody at home to greet you, though, on a Christmas day? No, I didn't get that email either, Julie Vaughan. That was weird, wasn't it? I'll find that. Is it on their website? Julie Vaughan, while, I'm, while we're sitting here, do me a favour. Oh, I could do it, actually. Look up their website. I'll do it now. I'll do it now, actually. Village Fabrics. Village Fabrics. Village Fabrics. Oh. No mention of it on their website. No. No mention of it on the website. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, Lynn says, our first move <coughs> was on the 18th of December with a six-month-old baby and a two-and-a-half-year-old. was the most organised I've ever been at Christmas. Oh, well done, Lynn Twitt. I'm two miles from Lyme Regis and six miles from Bridport, says Wendy. Glenda said it was on the last newsletter. Yeah, but we didn't get it, Glenda. Me and Julie Vaughan didn't get that one. Neve, hi, John. Wishing you and your lovely followers a fabulous Christmas. My mum's in hospital. It'll be strange tomorrow, but I'll get to visit her. That's, now, you see... Um, Marina's husband's Pete's in hospital and she can't go and visit him because he's had an operation on his jaw and he's not allowed to talk. 
Um, but um, Chris and John, they can see each other. Yvonne spoke about it last time she was on. She's moving close to home. Yeah, Inkborough. She's moving to Inkborough, Jane, which is just around the corner to here. Um, uh, but I didn't know about it because she wasn't on air with me. She must have been on air with Stuart. And uh, I didn't get the newsletter. Uh, Roxana says, I love Bridport. Very nice sewing fabric vintage shop there now. Who is that? I don't know where Bridport is. Must be, must be in Dorset then. Is it Dorset? Dorset. Okay, so what else? Uh, it's half past nearly. I won't keep you too long because I'm sure you've all got loads to get on with. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Now, might not be here next week because next week is uh, New Year's Eve, isn't it? And I'm spending New Year's Eve with Francesca. So I'll either get to Francesca. Well, I don't know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Because I could do it from Francesca's kitchen, you know, with the dog and everything. But we'll see. It's frightening to think that in a week's time it's New Year's Eve, isn't it? It's frightening to think it's Christmas Eve today. Um, so, uh, next week on Sewing Street, I'm only in Friday and Saturday, next week I think it is. Now, next week I've got Rebecca Harrison with me on Friday and Susie Duncan with me on Saturday. Now, on Susie Duncan's show, she's got a special deal on the 780 sewing machine. Uh, Fiona says, I must visit next time I see my stepdaughter in Maiden Newton. Bridport's in Dorset. I said that, didn't I? Dors Dorset. It's in Dorset. Isn't that, um, oh, what's her name and what's her name? French and Saunders did that. Fran's going on a mini holiday, only two days. Well, mine. Well, I'm, I've got tomorrow afternoon and then I'm staying Boxing Day and I'm coming back on the 27th. Uh, Bridport in Dorset. Yes, thank you. Oh, from Rochester, Dorchester, not Rochester. Ali, update from Marina at the hospital. He's improving every day. The nurse have told him it's steak and chips in the feeding tube. Oh, dear. Give Francesca our love and good wishes. We'll do a tractor. Uh, we'll be here next week if you're around as not doing anything, but we'll be watching you tomorrow morning. Love, Santangle. So can't wait to see that tomorrow, says Susan. When says on the uh, Devon border, give love to Francesca. Uh, will you be on here for my birthday? 9th of what? 9th of January? Oh, I haven't even done my January diary. Hang on. Hang on. 9th of January is a Tuesday. Not likely to be on on a Tuesday, am I? Uh, late again, says Delia. I've been doing some prep in the kitchen for tomorrow. It's near West Bay, which is where Broadchurch is filmed. Maggie Mason, nearly missed you. Busy prepping veg for nine people. Really excited for Christmas here. Have a lovely Christmas time. Will do. Thank you, Maggie. Oh, everyone's telling me where it is now. Been to West Bay. Been spent holidays there. Angie sends hugs to Francesca. Love to Francesca. Susan. Lynn says, uh, snap about Broadchurch. Right, well, actually, do you know what? I'm going to go. I've got to pack my car because I've already packed all of Mikey's stuff because Mikey left all his stuff here when he left Oxford. And I thought it was the odd bag. It's filled my whole car. The Sunday before your birthday. No, that's the 7th. I won't be on on the 7th because I'm driving to... Oh, where am I filming on the 8th? I can't remember where I'm filming on the 8th now. Uh, best wishes to Francis Vian. Jackie drew it. Merry Christmas, John and all. Catherine says Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to sign off because I've got lots to do before tomorrow. And I've got to be up half past four in the morning to go to work and everything. And then driving up north after that. Uh, thank you. Lots of love, says Wendy. Jane says, have a fantastic time with your holiday. Uh, with your family. I will. Thank you, Jane. Ghislaine. Hello. Happy Christmas, my love. Delia says, happy Christmas, John, everyone. Hope to tune in tomorrow. Kim says, enjoy your day tomorrow, John. Thank you. I will. Thank you, Kim. Uh, my mum had a cancer up at the beginning of January 2022, Sanjin. Love and hugs, everyone says hello. Denise, Merry Christmas. Hope you all have a lovely time and hugs to those who can't. Julie says, oh, when can we buy your show, please? I think it's going on sale on January the 16th. I think it's the 16th or the 15th. Um, Shirley Rail says, take care travelling. Van says, have a good Christmas. Jacqueline says, Merry Christmas. See you tomorrow morning. Lynn Chewitt says, sending healing hugs to everyone. Roxana says, have a great Christmas. Jane says, Merry Christmas to you, John and everyone. Rosemary says, Happy Christmas. Thank you. And the same to you. Claire says, have a great day tomorrow. Love to Francesca. Lots of all. Love to all. Eat, drink and be merry. Uh, Anne says, best wishes to Francesca. Thank you very much, Adiz. Uh, Carol says, I hope everyone has a good day. Margaret says, my security light is going mad like a pedestrian crossing flashing in the garden. Uh, Princess says, sending lots of love and hugs to everyone. Sandra Sakalas, have a lovely day tomorrow, John. Everyone drive carefully, I shall. Have a wonderful day tomorrow, says Susan. Sue says, bye, John. Hope all has a best day tomorrow. Diane says, bye, uh, bye everyone. Enjoy the day. Anne says, Merry Christmas to you and everyone. 
Thank you very much indeed. I hope you all have a lovely, lovely Christmas. As I say, I'm on air tomorrow morning. Brian, wishing everyone a very happy Christmas. Judy from Canton, enjoy the festivities, everyone. Send in love. Julie Vaughan, see you tomorrow. Safe journey up north. Thank you. Kat says, Merry Christmas to one and all. See you all in the morning. Anne says, Merry Christmas, John. Have a lovely time. I will indeed. Pauline says, Hello, John. Happy Christmas to you. All off in a moment. I've got to go. Oh, she's ringing the bells. Oh, lovely, Pauline. Have a lovely day. Wendy says, Merry Christmas. Neve says, I'll be tuning in. Hilary, have a lovely Christmas, John. I will, thank you. Uh, Anne says, have a wonderful day, everyone. Drive safely, I will. Brian says, thanks, John. I wonder what, I wonder what they've sent me. My present hasn't arrived yet. There'll be something. The thing is, all my presents are here, right? I'm going to open them when I get back on the 27th because I haven't got room in the car to take them up north. Uh, right, okay. Have a lovely, lovely uh, evening. If I don't see you on the telly tomorrow morning, have a lovely Christmas day. Uh, and uh, I'll let you know about next Sunday because I I'll try and do one next Sunday because I can't do one the following Sunday. So I'll try and let you know. I'll try and let you know. Uh, Merry Christmas, uh, uh, John. Just back in from last minute shopping. Says Jill. Uh, Liz will be watching tomorrow. See you tomorrow then, Liz. You take care of yourself. All right, yo then. You take care. Lots, lots of love. Uh, remember tomorrow. I'm on tomorrow and then Friday and Saturday. Uh, you can catch the end of the sound music. Oh, is it on? Oh, I was meant to re meant to tape it, not tape it. What do they call it? What's it? It. All right. Take care. Lots and lots of love. I'll see you next week. Bye, princess. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow morning if you're coming in tomorrow. Bye.